Hello! Today I'm going to talk about how religion answers some of the fundamental questions brought up by philosophy. Philosophy is the study of general and fundamental nature, and the first topic I'm going to talk about is metaphysics. Metaphysics is basically the study of why we're all alive and for what purpose we're all alive. One of the ways religion tries to answer these questions is through the telling of creation stories, or creation myths. Probably the most well-known creation story is the story shared by Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. In the story, God creates the world in six days and rests on the seventh. He ends up creating man in his own image and places the first two, Adam and Eve, in the Garden of Eden. In Hinduism, before the world, there was a great sea with only Vishnu, the god of preservation, sitting on a serpent. Brahma, the god of creation, was born from his navel and proceeded to create the world by splitting his lotus into three, each becoming the world, the skies, and the heavens. He created all life upon earth. Similarly to Hinduism, Wicca, or neo-paganism, there is a belief that the goddess burst into being from a black void and danced, creating the universe and all its energy. These stories answer the question of how we came to be. The next topic I'm going to talk about is ethics and the reasoning behind ethics. Ethics is the study of action, the idea of what is right and is wrong. So all religions have some sort of ethical code or set of rules. For Judaism, it's the Ten Commandments. For Christianity also follows the Ten Commandments, but it's also expanded through the parables taught by Jesus Christ. Hinduism and Wicca also follow a similar ethical code, though different in some ways. Hindus believe in karma. Karma is the idea that whatever action you choose will affect your future, specifically in your next lives, because they believe in reincarnation. Wiccans have a similar idea, but with slight changes. They follow something called the Rule of Three, or the Threefold Law. This rule states that whatever energy you put into the world is returned to you threefold. So, you put negative energy in the world, you'll get threefold that energy negatively back on you. Put positive energy back into the world, you will get threefold positive energy back to you. All of these concepts state what is right and what's wrong. Most would agree that all of these ethical codes relate to the basic rules people are taught despite of different religions. Don't kill, don't steal, don't lie are all the basic things society deems wrong to do. The final topic I'll be discussing is epistemology. Epistemology is the study of knowledge, how it can be acquired and what knowledge exactly is. So if you think about knowledge and religion, they go hand in hand. I know when I'm in church, I'm constantly learning about different things. Faith is something I specifically want to talk about. When religious people talk about faith, they often say they know God is real. That sentence makes me think about how knowledge is subjective. Just like telling the truth, if you believe what you are saying is true, is it really a lie? Faith is a knowledge of God, just the same as someone who has a knowledge of science. In religions, faith comes gradually and with work. Wiccans work to become in tune with nature and the world's energy. In Christianity, Judaism, and Islam, it's more about gaining a testimony of God. In Buddhism, faith comes through acceptance of Buddha's teachings and regular meditation. In my mind, those three topics are the very most important ones to talk about when relating philosophy to religion.